Thanks. It's also a pleasure to be here. And I'll be speaking on, on my behalf as well as Mike Knopp from the IROC Core Lab. I listed on the first slide a SWOG contact uh, email if there are any imaging related questions. So the SWOG Imaging Committee will oversee, guide, and consult on all imaging and image data collection related aspects of the trial along with the PIs of the trial. The SWOG Imaging Core Lab, uh, now known as IROC Ohio, and I'll go over that, uh, will <laughs> oversee and manage all imaging data collection and support uh, for all image-based response assessments. <coughs> I'm going to go over the image acquisition uh, very quickly because we will be providing every site with a detailed charter and image acquisition manual so that they'll know exactly what to do. And of course, we'll always be available to answer any questions in real time related to imaging. All study participants will have either a PET CT, CT, or MRI exam prior to study entry. And then participants will undergo additional imaging. We'd like the same imaging modality to be used for the pretreatment as the post-treatment exams every six weeks until disease progression. The primary endpoint for all the imaging modalities will be interpretation by the local site radiologist. If the radiologists have any questions about the uh, uh, response assessment, the rules for that, or how to, how to navigate through the various imaging modalities, we on the imaging committee would be more than happy to speak with them and guide them along. The image exams should be forwarded as soon as possible to the IROC Ohio for quality assurance and ultimately potentially for central review. However, the central review results will be reported only to the Data Safety and Monitoring Committee. And as I said earlier, we will provide a detailed description of the central radiology as well as image acquisition parameters, minimum parameters, the optimal parameters, and image submission instructions will be made available to every site. So IROC um, now, uh, and it's a new old term that I'll, I'll describe a little more, is implementing a very user-friendly image data upload system so that we'll be able to uh, uh, send the, you'll be able to send the images rapidly and easily to the central repository. Uh, IROC is a new old name. Uh, we've been working with them for 10 years as the SWOG uh, Core Lab, and we've also been working it with Quark in Rhode Island, which is now known as IROC uh, Rhode Island. And as was previously mentioned, there'll be a system that integrates with RAVE and RSS to provide tremendous ex advantages to the trials and really be able to coordinate and uh, uh, match up the imaging data uh, with the other parts of the clinical trial data. So in summary, what this really does and what we're really most excited about is the ability to build probably the largest imaging biorepository that's associated with the fine uh, tissue that's going to be uh, collected so that we could evaluate and understand better what image-based response is, what image-based progression means, how this correlates uh, with these tissue biomarkers, and then look at other potentially more uh, uh, advanced and quantitative techniques that are being uh, utilized in imaging, you know, looking at radiomics and looking at all these features for response and progression. So if you should have any questions, feel free to contact us, and we look forward to working with you on the trial. <laughs>